Bloodgood with a big fake. Able to get Klein to bite. See the flick force look into the end zone. To AJ, AJ Merriman gets the sky and the score. An early break for DC. DC up on the right foot. And why did we talk about Merriman at the beginning of the game? This is exactly why. New York, especially at this point, doing a good job pushing him back. Zach Norbaum streaks deep. He's not quite there, but he has a couple of options. A nice, easy flick to Garrett Braun, and DC gets the hold. Babbitt trapped on the sideline, finds the aforementioned Cats as they have teammates. There's a diving block. Seeing Rowan McDonald heavily involved in the handling movement right now for DC. First game against New York, he was taken almost exclusively out of the game. Josh A. Aloro just shut him down. Another member of the Empire that's not here. Joe Richards looks deep and is able to get the goal. That is Joe Merrill, the leading scorer for the Breeze, finally able to get in on the action. Really just a shot to the end zone. There's going to be no reset opportunity available. You're going to see this double team put on quickly. A little hammer. He has to get a quick throw, and they do. Talk about an efficient offense. Helps now that he has his brother on the team too. Get a little Maybe bit of push connection. him to practice, yeah. <laughs> we saw both of them working in tandem here to open up the DC Breeze as well. Yeah. Family connection. Throwing it deep to Oscar. There was some contact and a goal for New York. Some contact down the field. I believe that was Merriman. I'm not that old, but he's been in the technology game and really able to make it work for DC, keep him keep him organized. Tell on you the what, sideline. I'm certainly gonna talk to him about my next device. A deep Ooh. shot just short of the end zone, Braun into space. And with the quick beat, DC able to get another one. Norbaum making a cut now, an easy backhand into the back corner, towing the line, Joe Richards. Joe Richards that one in. Babbitt now back in a handler position, and that was one thing that Ben Katz has struggled. And here comes a hammer, a nice one ripped right in there, Matt Stevens. One of his more impressive. Yeah, McDonald got backpacked a little bit there. I believe that was Matt Lamar. Haven't said his name much this evening. This one to the end zone. A little bit of a hospital pass, but DC able to get the goal. Holding both a backhand and flick force at the same time. And there's another block. David Bloodgood. Tom to Green on the sideline, back to Tom. Flick fake, backhand flake. Nothing happening. Hess comes in and here's the backhand Blake to Merriman. Merriman skies for the goal. DC now on top by five. Here we go, scored the first goal of the game. Now the first goal of the half here for DC. DC Breeze goal scored by number Empire really want to have any chance in the fourth quarter. They need something here. Stevens, a hammer, and Babbitt with the overhead yeah, pancake yeah. grab. DC is not in position whatsoever. Finally, they get marked up. Weintraub, back corner, hammer, and it is caught. Would put the Empire in fantastic field position. Only down by three goals. Braun looking deep, I believe that's Merrill. Joe Merrill able to complete the hold for DC. Must be really windy right now. The Breeze are picking up some legs. Really, ever since that opening frame, it's been back and forth between these two teams relatively even. 
Just DC that 6-3 advantage to start. Yeah, sending it deep. That's Klein and a beautiful dime. Yacht to Klein for the goal. A quick hold for New York. Wodach center of the field. Gus Norbaum finds his brother Zach. Good step through to Norbaum, then to Nissen. And this game has not been tied since the clock said 12 minutes on in, in the first quarter, excuse me. Another deep shot, Yacht and Merriman. Great matchup and it is AJ Merriman winning that one. Can't overstate how these two teams always, always have good contest with each other. Up the line, trying to milk it into the end zone is Katz, and he does, Ben Katz. Ryan Oscar, double teamed, still able to get it down the field off a couple of great fakes. Now he's looking deep to the streaking Babbitt, Jeff Babbitt, who once again has the most incredible pancake catch above the head I've ever seen. Gets another one on the board for New York. That's a sprinting a high jump. Oloro and Wyatt Weaver, Jack Williams isn't here. Those are four of the top 14 players as DC quickly looking deep. Drost against Merrill. And really, we've talked a lot about the offensive greatness of the Breeze. Just mentioned how strong defensively they're doing, but it's the Empire offense really is keeping pace with them, right? It's going back and forth, one goal to another. This three goal margin is consistent. It's not growing, it's not getting smaller. It's the New York defense that has struggled to cut into this lead. Norbaum with another goal for the Breeze. Yeah, and just Dros just doing all he can, trying to go for the disc. Can't blame him for that. And McDonald with a huge cross field blade. Breeze content to take their time. 2.02 remaining in this contest. Breeze looking to get their first win over the Empire in several seasons. And Joe Richards punches home the 20th goal of the contest. There are options deep, but DC is not taking it. They aren't taking any chances, keeping possession as Jasper Tom almost Again, able to make an impressive play, but just short. And New York gets one back. Be a consolation, go back to that magic number. But the clock is winding down for the Empire. Crossfield hammer as that one is smacked away. The DC Breeze have gotten the Death Star plans. And down goes the mighty empire. The Breeze beat New York 20 to 17. And for the first time in nearly three years, the empire have lost a game.